What's that? Yeah, you can use like a Word doc. Yep, or a separated page. Once, now, once that page is printed, that's that's. Uh, so what happens is if I print if I print, it'll print the separator page, and then all my print job, and then when you print, it'll print the separator page, and then all your print jobs. I guess you could, if you wanted to. So it looks like there's already a couple different separator pages here that you can play with. So let's see, maybe this says print separator. We'll, we'll choose that, see what happens. I haven't personally ever messed around with the separator pages. No one has really ever requested to have it in any organization I worked at, so I'm not sure. Um, if you don't want to spool the print job, you can always choose this option, print directly to printer. What that'll do is actually just allow you to print directly to printer and the workstation will spool the job until the printer has enough memory available to actually retrieve that print job and hold it until it can print it. But in the olden days, older printers didn't have that much memory so we spooled them on the server. Because people could print and then quickly log out to turn off the computer and go wait for their print job to come out, usually in a central location. And once that print job's done, it's still Yeah, it's gone. Deleted. Yep, file's deleted. We go printing defaults, we can look at what we want. So when the person adds this printer to their computer, we'll say it's always going to print in landscape mode, or it's always gonna print in portrait, or it's always gonna print two pages per sheet. So you can set the defaults. They can obviously go in and change it, but you can set the defaults and what it's going to do. You go to advanced and there might be other things. See, the driver I chose didn't have duplexing on it, so I can't really choose that. But um, probably would it be in here if I wanted to set duplexing. I can change the, the you know, levels of gray, how much color it's gonna use, the you know resolution, save toner, things like that for econo mode. And again, that's under the uh, printing defaults and advanced. You can change those things. Uh, security. This is where if this were a color printer and color ink were very expensive like it was in the past, it's not any longer, this is where you could actually set the permissions and saying, you know what, everyone cannot print to this printer. Only, uh, we'll say, IT. So now you can say only IT people can print to this. And that way, uh, when other users log in, they're not going to be able to print to this new color printer that's very expensive to print to. Yeah, I, I removed everyone and added IT. Now, I don't want to do that. I'm going to go in there and do domain users. And domain users can print. IT, we're going to give IT, anyone in IT, the ability to manage printer and manage documents. Now, I could just go add the IT department into the print operators group. I could do that as well. But we just added IT, give them the permissions to change those document settings. In right of this, we're going to hit OK. And we are now going to go to our workstation and see if we can't add it. Log in as good old Tom Hinkle. You have to log out and log back in or... No, you shouldn't have to. So now let's see what it's like from the user's experience, how we're going to be able to add a printer. So from the user experience, we're going to go to settings, printers, and faxes. And we're going to do the add the printer option. Next, and this time, do you see how we cannot add a local printer? Because we are not administrators. We cannot add the physical devices to our computer. So we're gonna do a network printer, hit next, and we're gonna find a printer in the directory. Keep it simple for the users, right? Hit next, and you just type in the location 201. I'm in room 201, hit find now, see what happens. Nothing. Well, let's see if we find it this way. Nothing there. How about we just do fine now? There it is. 
I wonder if I had typed the whole thing out. Room 201. Yeah, yeah that worked. So that's that stinks. You can't just use 201. Huh. What if I just use room? Oh, it has to start with those. Aha. Uh -huh. So that keep it that in mind for naming. So if you want to just leave it all blank and hit find now, and you should be able to see them all listed in there. Of course, if you had hundreds of printers in your organization, you wouldn't want to do that, but for your naming scheme, maybe start it out with just the room number. That way all the users know that it's room number or department abbreviation or whatever. So select this printer, hit OK, and it already has the XP driver on the server for that printer, so it should automatically pull that information from the server, and we should be ready to go. And it gives a little note, please print duplex both sides. Hit finish, we're all good. Now let's see if we can print. Now I think it's offline because we are behind a firewall to this printer, so I'm not sure if it's going to work. Did you add an exception? What's that? Did you add an exception for that IP? No, I don't think so. Really? Yeah, let me see if I can. Um... Hmm. Yeah, this might not work so well. I don't know. We'll go to my workstation and we'll just try to print. We'll see. Let's print a... Yeah, print a test page. We'll print good old Google. Make sure if you're on a web page, you just print page one of one. If we go look, it shows that the print is in there. So now if we go take a look at our server, I don't think it's actually going to go. Let's go take a look at our domain controller and see if we can't find where the print pool is located. Anybody remember from the reading where it's located? The print spool. Where? Oh, uh, where on the hard drive is it located? Yeah, there are the drivers located. Printers. There they are. So there's the print job. Just created today. 8.07 a.m. And as you can see in here, we have... Eight oh seven AM. The times match up. Oh, let's see if we can't make this restart. Pause, resume. Come on. Use printer offline. Now we try uncheck that. So it shows offline. Well, I don't think I'm gonna get it to go. Well, if the printer were directly connected, we should be able to have print to it. 